Ladies and gentlemen, the 2018 Lincoln Navigator Limo. Okay, real quick. I'm gonna tell you this the best way I can. 2018, pretty much brand new model, went to Asia. Had all of this custom work done to it to make it a limousine. There you have it. And it came back. This doesn't even have 600 miles on it. Welcome to Las, welcome to Las Vegas and celebrity cars, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you need one of these over in New York or down in Miami or in LA. Maybe it just stay right here. It's awesome. It drives incredible. The brakes, I've never felt brakes like this, not in a Tesla, not in a Porsche, not in a Lamborghini, not in, in Bentley, nothing. The brakes, I don't know, Lincoln, well, well done with, I, I, I don't know what to say. You, you have to drive it in order to figure it out. But uh, I'm your living, breathing condition report. Uh, we, that's what I do here at Celebrity Cars. I go over paint, I go over chrome, I go over tires, go over wheels, go over the interior, make sure there's not any cuts, bruises, or uh, you know, it, the scratches, dings, all that kind of stuff. Um, since it's got really low miles on it, you would think we wouldn't find many of those things. We won't, uh, I've already given it a pretty good look over. Uh, the thing that it's uh, lacking just a little bit is uh, overall detail and care. So uh, in the, over the next couple of weeks, we'll get this thing super shined up. It's got some extra watermarks on it. Um, you know, it's pretty much traveled the world. Uh, I'm not sure how it traveled, by plane or by boat, not sure. Uh, but it's all here. The interior is to die for. The back seats, the whole limo experience is just absolutely amazing and blah, blah, blah. I could talk about it forever. But uh, it's beautiful. The grill's beautiful. The windshield's in good shape. And just, it's certainly this interior is, okay, enough. Come on in here. I like to start at the front of the vehicles. Let's make sure this is all one piece. Um, I see, once again, our detailer could have done a little bit better of a job. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't want to start off that way, but here you are. Uh, this whole front, you know what, I'm not. I'm not doing this. You can keep rolling, I don't care. Do a walk around, check it out. This kind of thing I can't really handle sometimes, folks. I don't understand why. It's not more clean, but I'll do it. <laughs> I want to get a good look at this chrome because people can't clean cars correctly, I have to do it myself, and that's fine. Okay, so you see this front grille, it is absolutely beautiful. There's no watermarks, the chrome is incredible. Down here, inside these little uh, uh, vents down here for the radiator, they could be cleaned up a little bit better, but this is all in one piece down here. I feel no scratches. No abrasions underneath the front of this, so nobody drove in anything. There's no spider webbing going on. And uh, this is the what I meant by a couple of stray watermarks. It's just the little ones here and there, but easy to get out. I'm not concerned about them at all. Headlights are beautiful. This uh, headlight's good. And over here, jeez, oh, embarrassing. Beautiful, beautiful, all this is in great shape. All right, now the hood. The hood's got some leftover watermarks in it. Uh, I guess our main concern here is does it have any great big chunks taken out of it? Yeah, I can feel the paint's a little rough, you know, so it needs some clay bar. Yeah, like I said, it's traveled the world. Okay, two small abrasions, one here, one here. Now, since we're gonna detail this and we're gonna shine it all up, I'm pretty sure we're gonna make a lot of that go away. Make sure these are just bugs and not chips. Yep, bug and not chip, just some normal environment stuff. Well, not normal. Once again, this car's traveled the world. And a couple leftover watermarks, but folks, I'm telling you, we're gonna spend a little bit more time on this. You're really at the fact that this is a limousine. It's black. It's really pretty. It's going to have a couple little marks on it, but no big deal. The windshield looks great. Once again, that needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but I don't see any great big chunks taken out of the windshield. 
maybe on occasion a really small little mark, probably just via shipping. But other than that, uh, we're, we're really all in good shape. <clears throat> let's uh, go over to, now let's just stay over here on this side. Uh, this is too big to fit on our carousel, folks, so it's kind of on here, kind of crooked. Sorry about that, it's the way it goes. <clears throat> Passenger side front wheel and tire has no curb rash and looks beautiful. Wheel well looks good, fender looks incredible. Navigator sign looks good. Down here along the bottom, this chrome piece down here all the way about. The, I'm going to run my bare fingers down it to make sure it's not dented up. Oh, nope, we're in good shape. And we're in good shape down here, all the way across the bottom. And I don't see any dings. I did look at this earlier. <clears throat> I don't see any dings down the side. The passenger side door is just about perfect. I do see some fingerprints. The center section here looks good. No chips, scratches, or dings. And this rear door, again, need to spend a little time on some detailing. But other than that, this door is black and gorgeous. And the rear quarter pack here. <clears throat> All this is beautiful. And our rear driver's side, or passenger side wheel and tire, I see no curb rash whatsoever. Okay, before we leave the passenger side, I'm gonna work my way down the glass. Um, there's a, a, a little bit of paint leaving in the seam right here. Just a couple additional marks in here where this crevice crease is. And this is good all the way down. Passenger side window is wonderful. Um, you know, in the manufacturing of this and making it, it looks like a, a little bit of adhesive uh, got away and uh, I'm not sure if we can get that off or not. It's very hard to see. We've got these fancy lights in here and you know, black, it's just like magnifying glass. But um, none of it's major, none of it's, there's no scratches, and there's no big dents, there's no, nothing to worry about. There's just a couple of little weird lines laying around here and there. But they wouldn't bother me any, because this is just really something. Uh, the reason for the extension on the roof, uh, from what I understand, uh, is uh, first of all, the fancy lighting system that's inside, and then probably to hold some of the other electronic components in order to operate this great big vehicle. Rear windshield looks good. Rear glass, I'm sorry. Lincoln symbol back here. The chrome is all beautiful. Um, slight abrasions right here in the trunk, here, 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 and here, but I'm also pretty sure that a really good detail job, excuse me, will make those go away. And back all the way down here, I don't see any signs of backing into anything, rubbing up against the garage door, hitting a sign in a parking lot, nothing. All this looks great. Just some detail issues. All right. All right, let's start down here at the bottom once again. All this looks good. Chrome molding looks good. All this lines up real nice. We don't have any different color blacks or anything like that floating around here, folks. Driver's side, rear wheel and tire looks pretty darn good to me. Uh, I do have some clear coat scratching back here. Uh, once again, this is where a detailer will come in. The detailer would probably be pretty expensive to do this car, folks, just so you know. So if we wind up doing it, you know, lucky you. <laughs> but uh, you get it, you're gonna probably gonna spend a little extra time on it. If you've got a driver, well, this is probably his responsibility. You get him to shine it up. All right, continuing down the driver's side of the car, and we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, I do see a couple little extra, um, you know, like I said, this thing just needs a detail. 
Uh, let me explain. I keep saying that, and I'm not sure I've been real clear about it. If I see a gash or a scratch or a dent or a chunk or any of those things, I, so I'm going to tell you about those things. <clears throat> Simple, light little mark in the clear coat that could be rectified by a good detail job. Um, I'm just letting you know, but I mean, don't don't hang up the phone, okay? This is good luck finding another one that looks uh, another limousine that looks like this. So yes, we have our detailing issues along here. Beautiful black paint, though. Everything's good. Oh, there's this fancy code to get in, in and out of the car. Back down here. Uh, -na 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 -na. Chrome molding all the way down the side. Looks wonderful. Got a bug. Got a bug. Down along the bottom. Looks great. Everything lines up really nice. I, I wouldn't touch this thing. I mean, I'm a big black person um, when it comes to paint. And uh, I'm, I don't think I'd spend any time on this because just because of what it is, the limousine, you, won't, you don't really need to shine it up any more than this. But you know, if you're a pain in the butt like I am with black paint, then hey, you're gonna wanna shine this up a little bit more. These seams run underneath the chrome. Um, so, uh, a bit of some paint loss and how this was put together, but it's very difficult to see, and uh, I'm, I'm being pretty picky, but we want you to know all these things. Okay, we looked at the hood. We've, did we look at the front wheel and tire? Nope. Front wheel and tire has no curb rash on it. It looks wonderful. Wheel well looks good. Everything looks good. Windshield over here looks pretty darn good just a little watermarks and stuff that need to come out. Okay, let's open this up. You notice when I opened up the door, we had uh, a stepping stool come down here and greet us so we can get in and out of this thing a little more comfortably and look at this interior. So you've got that camel leather, smells, feels incredible. Um, the dashboard's got stars floating around like you're in space. Uh, <laughs> it's just a lot of really neat, upgrades to this Lincoln. I'm going to open up the, let's, before I climb in the driver's seat, go ahead and take a look in the back. This is where you'd be spending most of your time, I would presume. Seems to seat three, possibly four, because I think this might actually open up into a seat as well. I don't know how to do these things, so I'm not going to start screwing with it. But uh, I'm just your condition guy. You want to you wanna buy this thing, you want to have somebody on the phone start showing you around and showing you all this stuff, then great. Give us a call. The carpet, uh, boy, make sure you take your shoes off first. It is really nice. The wood in here looks incredible. This seat is incredible. It smells amazing. There's a great big television set to my right. You can see the beautiful lights that uh, illuminate inside here once you get things going. Looks like it's got Wi-Fi. Looks like it's got an additional screen right here. I don't know what that's for, but man, folks, this is incredible. It's a limo. It's got all these fancy buttons and stuff. These seats extend out. The lounge chairs. Controls are right here on the side of the car. Wow. Pretty darn neat. Curtains, speakers. Looking over here at the passenger side for you, and I barely see a sign of anyone ever getting in and out of this passenger side, maybe just a little. The seat looks brand new. The console looks brand new. Floor mats look great. Passenger side door looks incredible. And I'm gonna come over there. Oh, you know, I'll leave this open. Come over there to the driver's side, take a look in there too. You know, with uh, not even 600 miles on the odometer, I know they did a lot of customization and such, but you know, 600 miles means they get, they've just been driving it around. And I always like to check the bolsters inside these cars to make sure there's no wear getting in and out, and I see zero. The wood finishing is beautiful. I've driven this outside already. I've gotten a chance to see it. There's no cracking of anything in here, and uh, just the carpet. And, getting in and out is just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
headliner. Wow. Okay, well, let me hop in here real quick. See if I have the key in my pocket. I'm not sure if I do or not, but oh, I do. Check out this dashboard all light up and everything. Gonna need gas very soon. Yeah, look at that. This is showing me if you're gonna back up, you're gonna drive forward, make sure there's nothing around me. Wow, this is amazing. Well, you get it all here, folks, with this limo. 2018, super low miles. Amazing. Oh, we didn't look at the engine yet. You're right. Let's see what powers this thing. Well, all right. Once again, if you found this video first online, you're freaking out, I wanted a limousine my whole life and you want to buy this one, go to celebritycars.com or give us a call 702-818-1031 and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions about what this thing does. Pretty neat, huh? Nice and clean in the engine compartment. Uh, well, we, yeah, we opened up that back. Remember when we were looking in the back? Wanna look at it again? Come on, let's go look at the back again real quick. Oh, or did, maybe I didn't. You're right, that was the other car. Jeez. Okay, hold on there, folks. I have the key in my pocket. Let's do this correctly. Maybe I don't have the key in my pocket. I do have the key in my pocket. Hold on before I get disconnected. All right, I'm gonna hit this uh, two-time button for the back here. Boy, hey, hey, how you doing? And there you have it back here. Little cargo center back here. Close it up, put your groceries back here. You're in good shape. Well, this leather just continues all the way around. It is beautiful. Thanks, Quincy, for reminding me of that. There's no button that, oh, there is a button. What do you say we go for a ride? Let's see what this thing's all about. We'll be right back. So we're inside this 2018 Lincoln Navigator limo, folks. And um, I'm just kept, I'm attempting to make myself at home here. Um, I cheated a little and I've driven this thing first already. And the brake pedal, uh, you know, when you, you always every, almost every car, I don't care what kind of car you're driving, you hit the brake pedal, you kind of feel the brake working with your foot, you feel you feel it like mm, digging into those rotors and all that kind of stuff, or brakes, or, and this, you don't feel like you're doing anything except the car's slowing down. I don't know how to explain it, but what a what a wonderful ride this is. All right, well let's go do it. The interior is incredible. This dark camel interior and black vehicle is just my favorite color combination. All the wood grain is beautiful. The buttons are good. This great big screen to get here. The car's happy. Buttons galore <laughs> all over the steering wheel. It's awesome. Check out all of our photos at celebritycars.com. All right. Let's see here. Here's my drive. Let's go. thing drives as smooth as silk. You wouldn't even think it was this big. It's not that terribly big. 45 miles an hour. Let's use these brakes. Oh, these are great. That's weird. I've never experienced brakes like this before. That was really cool. All right, back on the gas. Smooth as silk, folks. The air conditioner when I got in here too, by the way, was like cranking. It was like blizzard conditions in here. Speed bump number one, very successful. The passengers won't even know it happened. I kid. Okay. And it's got great pickup too. Let's just keep going.
very quiet in here. 50 miles an hour. Puts back on the brake, right hand turn signal. This screen, look at this screen. The screen shows all around me. If there's any other cars around me when I'm making corners or turn signals. It's just crazy. And then it goes back. It shows me front and rear. It's crazy. Very safe. Feel very safe in here. Well, there you go, folks. You know what to do. Call 702 818 1031. We encourage pre purchase inspections. Uh, I'm not really sure if this is the correct mileage on here, but it says 522. So that means it's pretty low miles for 2018. Give us a call. We'll help you out. See you next time. Thanks a lot.